Home Depot Kitchen. Today we're going to be cleaning up a zero by one USDA Prime New York strip. Zero by one meaning there is a trimmed edge. On a one by one, it comes out to the to about another inch and a half. Um, what we're going to do to start our process, we're using a sabotar knife, which is a precision meat cutting tool, and we're going to remove the top sinew off of the top of the uh, the New York. Just taken off. This is connective tissue that makes the steak tough and really doesn't add any enjoyment to uh, eating of the steak. Once you remove that, that strip, I have to come over to the back side and remove a little of the connective tissue that uh, is parts that is connected to the rib of the animal. Once we've uh, kind of cleaned that up, which this is looking good, we want to start. We have a vein side. This is uh, has a vein steak. Uh, it runs about an inch and a half. Uh, down the meat. So we're going to start on the uh, on the prime side, we call it, uh, and cut back uh, our 12 ounce steaks. Before we do that, we want to just make sure that we do a little bit of trimming on the top. I don't like to take too much off. I like to do that so, uh, as I cut the steak so I can get a nice thick 12 ounce steak. Uh, in order to make sure that you're getting your weight, I like to take about 12 ounces of meat, have to get a fill for it, weigh that 12 ounces, we have that about adjusted to 12 ounces, perfect. And then I can kind of get an idea how much that steak is going to weigh. We'll do the same thing here. So when we make our, uh, our cut, we're cutting off a nice 12 ounce. Now this might be 12 and a half coming off of the uh, off the strip joint. But then what I'll do is a little bit of cosmetic taking off. I like to leave just a little bit of quarter inch fat all the way around the entire uh, muscle, any of the uh, connected tissue removed and then we weigh we're real close. Take off a little bit more. We have a nice 12 ounce New York. And then you're going to continue that process going down the uh, strip. Now as you cut down the strip on this, you're going to see that the uh, the muscle will start to get smaller. So when that happens, you're going to have to gauge that your steaks get bigger. By bigger, I mean you're going to have to cut them thicker because the size of the loin is going to, it's going to get smaller. As you work down this, an average about 12 to 15 center cut New Yorks that you'll get out of a, uh, out of a strip. And if we're doing this right, I should be real close to that. Now as we get down to this end of the strip, you're going to see start to see this vein I was telling you about. Now, if you take the vein state, it's starting to develop right here. The vein steak is a, is a muscle. This, uh, it starts to uh, show up as you get to this little bump right here. See, this is center cut. As it starts to develop, you'll see it'll get bigger. If you're good, you can probably get another nice center cut steak off of there. And now you see that vein is even getting more prevalent. That's a that's a, uh, a tendon that runs through the New York, and it's tough. It's not great on the palate, so we don't like to use them for our steaks. You can use this. Uh, some some places will take this and get one more steak out of it. And taking a uh, a little knife, tenderize that uh, down that vein steak, and then this could be served like a steak sandwich or. Uh, well done steak where you won't uh, really have the same uh, problems because of the cooking temperature of it or what you're putting it on. If you go like that, you can't even see it, but I have loosened up all the uh, connective tissue there, the sinew fat, so that the steak will be palatable, like I say, on a steak sandwich. We also sear this off and make a beef tartare thin slice cutting around the, uh, the end of the steak. So at this point, you do still have a lion's share, and the things you can do with this in creating value in your cut is to be able to uh, utilize this meat in another form. And it's something that I like to do, I call it a, uh, a filet of New York. So you can cut, and you can shake this, and sell this as a New York filet, get about $27 on it. Uh, this little this little cut can be done the same way. Uh, one little trick is I had a blue towel. I'll show you uh, in shaping this steak. And you do this, uh, you know, you cut about four strips a week. You get two steaks off of that. At the end of the week, you got enough to uh, to run a special and make a little more money. A little French technique on shaping that. 
give it a couple turns real good with the towel and it shapes out to a nice looking little nice rounded nice looking little fillet and your ladies will love that on the club menu um, this little top piece here has a lot of sinew in it so now we serve a beef fajita on the menu um, the fajita and the uh, both the fajita and the uh, beef uh, enchiladas we can take this and seam this out into littler pieces and again you could do a couple things with it you put it on a little stick and you have a beautiful New York satay, you sear it off a little peanut sauce, you've made some extra value out of your cuts there. Um, again, when you get down to some of these littler pieces, you gotta kinda be creative. This would be great on our nachos. You know, it upgrades the meat a little bit on our, uh, our club beef nachos, so it would be something that uh, you just added more value to your entire cut. So right now we pay $17 a pound coming in. Once we've done our uh, yield, which is about 12% loss when you're cleaning in New York. How do you get your yield? You weigh your total meat, then you weigh your, your uh, non-usable meat for uh, center meats. This is ground up for chili. Uh, it can be made into a uh, Chateaubriand sauce uh, by caramelizing, so we don't, we don't uh, waste anything. And then, at that point, we have our center cut steaks, and uh, we just give them a little trim down. Get them right to 12. As you see, when you have prime beef, only 2% of the world, uh, when you harvest beef, has prime. Prime is uh, depleted by uh, when the USDA grader comes in, cuts the beef and hangs it on the rail, the 13th rib. They look at the marbling uh, in the ribeye, and they look for the abundance and webbing of white collagen fat. This is the fat that's flavorful and makes the meat taste good and tender. Uh, they also look at the pigmentation of the muscle, you know, the color of it. You don't want it real red and dark like maybe a steer or, or a uh, no roll. No roll is where they've graded that meat and looked at it, and they can't even call it choice. So you have select, no roll, choice, and prime. And those are our uh, USDA grading systems. This is, again, a beautifully marbled uh, New York prime beef that we serve on our menu here at the club. Thank you and have a great day.